Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is NS Chooks and in today's video, I'm going to teach you quickly how to install XAMP on Mac OS. So if you enjoy this video, if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question also, leave it for me in the comment section below. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video like this. So without wasting much time, let's get started into this video. So I'm going to open another tab and then I'll type in XAMP right here and search for XAMP and I'll just go with the first link. So if the website opens up, you can see the website right here, apachefriends.org. So you can see if you're using a Windows operating system, you can see the one for you here. And if you're using Linux, you can see the one for you here. But in this case, I'm going to download that of mac operating system you can see the apple icon right over here so i'm just going to click there and then the download should start any moment from now okay you can see the download has started so it's kind of an 149 megabytes so it's going to take a while so i'm going to pause this video and then i'll come back when the download is over all right guys um the download is complete so i'm just going to click on this and then um, install the software you can see so I'm unpacking the software and then trying to install it so I'm going to double click on this icon you see right here so if I double click this icon the installation should start and uh, if by any means you're getting this kind of error that's because you're not downloading the app from App Store from Apple App Store you know you're downloading it from your browser so you need to select a system preference and allow your browser to download applications so for you to do that you can click on this question mark icon right here so if you click on this question mark you see what you should do so you can see the step one go to this Apple icon right here and then go to system preferences so while you're here i'm just going to move these or i'm just going to click cancel for this right for now so i'm going to click on security and privacy and then you can see so just click on this key icon and on put your administrator password i'm going to put my administrator password and then okay you can see that um, okay you can see that i now have the administrator uh, access so i'll click on you can see here app store and then identified developers so i'm just going to click on open anyway and then the same notice appears but right here now we can see open button right here so just click on open and then i'm going to close this for now so the next thing left here is for you to go ahead and you can okay you can go ahead and close this down from here then double click on this icon once more since we have granted the permissions and okay from here now enter your administrator login password and then okay the application is being installed you can see it's loading up okay guys the application has opened you can see that right there so i'm just going to click on next yeah it's going to be installed here click on next installation directory you can see applications for slash x amp so i'm good with that if you're not good with that you can click here and select where you want it to be installed in so just click next and then click next once more and you can see it's installing so let's give it a moment and then I'm, I'm going to pause this video and i will come back when the installation is complete okay guys the installation is complete so you can see if i uh, mark this checkbox here so if i click on finish the xamp application will open up so i'm just going to leave it checked and then i'll click on finish so the XAMPP application will open up okay first of all it's opening a web page okay you can see the welcome page or whatever but the application will still open up okay okay you can see the application right here so you can see the application i'm just going to minimize the browser tab okay i'm just going to close this also and then you can see the application right here guys so you can see go to application or uh, whatever just click on uh, manage servers and you can see the apache web server is already started and then it's running already so you just click on the mysql database right here and click on start also so 
to start the MySQL database server. Okay, you can see that uh, my SQL database server is running also and the Apache web server is also running. So if you go back to the welcome tab right here and you can see if you click on go to application, uh, the browser will load up the local host. Uh, you can also go to the browser. So let me just open up the Chrome browser and go over to the local host. So if I just open a new tab and then I will go, I will type in local host right here localhost so you can see that the XAMPP server just loaded up that means the connection is complete you can see that localhost for slash dashboard so another way to do this if let me just minimize this a bit another way to open up the localhost is when you come over to the XAMPP application and just go over to the just click on go to application and then it will open up with your default browser so i think my default browser right here in this machine is um, safari browser so if you just click go to application uh, it will open up with the your default browser so if you click on open application folder right here it will open up the application folder in case you want to you know host a wordpress website okay first of all you can see the go to application which i clicked on previously you can see it, it opened the local host using the safari browser right here so i'm just going to minimize that and then this is the application folder which i clicked on you can see open application folder so if you click there it will open up the application folder so if you want to go ahead to uh, install uh, wordpress just open the ht docs folder right here then you can install wordpress so you can import all the wordpress files right here that you downloaded or maybe you just want to test out a php script or whatever you want to use it for you know so i'll just advise you click here and then open a new folder and maybe name the folder the name of the project or whatever you know you just say maybe test or whatever just name it the name of the project and all that so if it's a WordPress website that you want to test up, so if you open this test folder or whatever name you give the folder, you have to import all the WordPress files right here. You know, the WordPress files you downloaded, extract them and then copy the file and paste it here. Or maybe it's a PHP website or PHP script that you want to test out. So here is the right place to paste the PHP uh, script of files and folders right here now so guys uh, that's all i have to teach you you can see that we've successfully installed the xamp uh, live server and then you can see that it's working so if i go over to the manage servers so i can just you know select the database uh, the mysql database and click stop since it's running already and also select the apache web server and click stop also since it's also running so right now if you visit localhost so right now, if you visit localhost on your browser, uh, the the web page will not load up. You can see that the servers have stopped right here. So that's it in this video, guys. If you actually learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question in between this video, please don't forget to leave it for me in the comment section below. And lastly, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.